A rare find has a local retired Marine going on a new mission. That's right. While preparing the course for this weekend's Marine Mud Run in Mishawaka, he came across an item with very special meaning. WSBT's Denise Bone joins us now in the studio. And Denise, what did he find? Rick and Jen, buried deep down in the dirt was this bracelet. And the retired Marine who found it wants desperately to find its owner. Let's go, Keep it going. As more than 500 people crawled through the cold mud for a good cause on Saturday's Marine Mud Run in Mishawaka, one organizer couldn't stop thinking about a treasure he found while preparing a part of the course known as the low crawl. It's um, an obstacle to train Marines how to get down and crawl into combat and to stay low, stay under fire that's coming over your head. Last week they brought in heavy machinery to break up the ground there. And then we went in an hour or so later and with shovels and we were hand digging. That's when retired Marine Mick Morose had something catch his eye and stir his heart. I turned over a shovel full of dirt on that particular day and I said, excuse me, I saw the top of this bracelet. So I reached down, got down on my knees and dug it out, wiped it off. Moreau's read the inscription. As you can see, it was dedicated to a Marine that was killed in Afghanistan just four years ago. That Marine was 24-year-old Corporal Dane DeBoer, who was born in Valparaiso and later lived in the Grand Rapids area. His obituary says DeBoer enlisted in the Marines after hiking the 2,100-mile Appalachian Trail to raise money for charity. He was killed by an IED in June 2010 while on foot patrol in Afghanistan. These metal memorial bracelets started in 1970 as a way to make sure that no Vietnam POWs would be forgotten. Those that wore them swore to not take them off until that soldier returned home. The KIA bracelets like this one are often worn by veterans of the Afghanistan and Iraq wars as a way to pay honor to a fallen comrade. I would love to be able to find the person that was wearing this at the mud run that lost this and return it to them. I'm sure it's very important to them. It's important to you. Very, very important. Important because Moreau says it is his duty as a fellow Marine to honor his fallen brother. It is the essence of the Marine slogan, Semper Fi. When you go through boot camp and you're trained as a Marine, everything is for the team. You never leave a brother behind. They've been doing the local Marine mud run for about 10 years, but the local crawl obstacle was created just two years ago. So Rick and Jen, he believes that that bracelet was lost either last year or the year before that because that's the spot where it was where found it was. about two feet down in the ground. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And the emotions he had with that, you know, you look at it, he's really anxious to return this bracelet. Yeah. He is. There's a special Facebook page set up to honor Marine DeBoer. And so Morose has gone on that Facebook. He's made a couple of posts about the find. He's really, really hoping to find the owner. He's desperate about it. Actually, I just saw him a little bit ago. He's very emotional even having it. He wants to desperately return it. And yeah. we have it on our Facebook page as well, we the do. story. So share it and let's see if we can find out who owns this. I hope so. Yeah, Fingers crossed. Wonderful. Yeah, thanks, Denise, Denise, thanks. Yeah.